two gentlemen here that are going to do a car seat demonstration right now. A gentleman from YRP and a gentleman from St. John's Ambulance. So over here we have a forward-facing seat. We have uh, Abigail here who's sitting here nicely. We're, uh, we put in this seat uh, forward-facing uh, for her height and weight and limit. Uh, if she's older than one, over 22 pounds and able to walk, she's able to go forward facing. We put the seat belt on uh, to uh, secure the seat. The seat should not move more than one inch when we uh, put it on. And when we use the seat belt here, we have to lock the seat belt so that it's secured um, and that it doesn't loosen over time. With the harness here, we make sure that the harness strap uh, is at or above their shoulder. We make sure that the chest clip is uh, firmly at her arm by her armpits, and that we make sure that we cannot easily pinch the straps. And then we pull the straps to tighten. Okay, and make sure that we lower the chest clip to the appropriate height. So if you follow those rules, you'll be sure to uh, make sure that they're uh, they're in their seat properly. All forward-facing seats must be tethered in. Uh, for, uh, for legal purposes to prevent any head motion, uh, uh, head excursion movement. Okay, that's pretty much it for the, the forward-facing seats. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, booster seat. So for child, children over 40 pounds, um, they're going to be uh, able to go into a booster seat. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick example. Basically, this doesn't have to be secured down like your previous model, your infant seat basically just sits on the seat, gives the child a little bit of elevation. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use the seat belt that comes with the vehicle. And it goes on just like a regular passenger. booster comes with this extra um, attachment and what this does is it gives the um, it gives it more secure uh, position for the, the shoulder strap because you don't want the short you don't want the seatbelt going into the child's neck. So you see you just adjust it. So that it sits nicely over the shoulder. And that's basically it.